Welcome back, you gorgeous weirdos. If you like what you see and you want to learn how to do some chrome stamping that does not require any gel, stick around. I'm going to show you how to do it, and it's so super easy. So what's going on? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope you all are having an amazing day. I'm going to do these on press-ons because that's what I do. <laughs> but if you want to do these on your natural nails, you totally can. This is going to blow your mind. I've done it once before many, many, many moons ago. But I haven't done stamping in so long. I mean, up until the recent past. If you need very basic beginner help with stamping, I'll leave my last video up in the cards for y'all to check out. This is the plate that I'm going to use. Pause, take a screenshot. This one's from Maniology. I'll leave it linked down below if I can find it. Um, I have an affiliate code with Maniology. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I haven't done a Maniology video in so long. But if I remember it, I'll leave that down below as well. All you're going to need is black stamping polish and chrome powder. That's it. I also am going to use the um, smudge-free top coat from Maniology. I would highly recommend grabbing that as well. So those are really the only things you're going to need for this. You can do this over dip powder. I'm doing it over gel polish, but really it's up to you, whatever you want to do. You do not need any gel for this whatsoever. I just love gel polish, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to throw on two full coats of white gel polish. Again, you can use any color you want, any medium you want medium, medium, you know, anything you want to do. <laughs> and I'm going to cure this for 30 seconds, go in with a second coat. Then what I'm going to do is throw a top coat over this and buff the shine off. That I find is key. Matte top coat kind of works, but I find that a glossy top coat and then buffing the shine off works exponentially better. And yes, you can do this with regular top coat, dip powder top coat, whatever it is that you feel like using, you can go ahead and do. That's all I'm going to do so far. I'm going to get this cured. I'm going to get on a top coat and then I'm going to buff the shine off. You don't want any bit of shine because the chrome will stick to glossy surfaces. So buff it out as best you can. And then we're going to get right into the chrome stamping. So I've gotten all the shine off the nail. I buffed it completely matte and I'm going to cleanse it with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and that's it. That's our canvas for the chrome stamping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the chrome powder and an eyeshadow applicator and I'm putting the chrome right on top of the jelly stamper. I'm going to cover the entire surface of that jelly stamper and no, you're not going to ruin your jelly stamper. I promise. As long as you don't touch your jelly stamper with acetone, you're fine. I'll show you how to clean it off later. Don't worry. I'm going to show you all the things. So once you have the uh, jelly stamper completely covered with the chrome, I gently blow off the excess. I know you're not supposed to blow on things. I said no dude ever. Um, but <laughs> it's me. It's my own nails. I really don't care. Then I'm going to take the black stamping polish and I'm going to apply that to the image that I want. Uh, I'm putting a fair amount on there, not too goopy though, and I'm going to swipe down twice. Then I'm going to take that chromed stamper, roll it over the image, and this is what we're looking like. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to take the nail, stamp it right on the nail as if I were doing regular stamping. But wait until you see how it comes out. This is no cuts, no nothing. This is completely magical. Look at how freaking perfect that comes out. I'm just going to pat down on the sides a little bit, make sure nothing is sticking up. And that nail is done. I do want to let that sit for a fair amount of time just to make sure everything is dry. And then later on, I'll go in with my smudge. Wow, motor mouth. <laughs> I'll go in with my smudge free top coat, but I'll show you that here in a little bit. So the other thing I wanted to do is show you how to do a partial image. So we're going to do that in a minute. But here is how I clean everything up. Piece of scotch tape. This will remove most of the polish in some of the chrome. 
It may not get everything and that's okay because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a lint-free wipe. You can use a paper towel and some rubbing alcohol and I'm just going to clean off the surface of that jelly stamper and it's clean. It's clean, it's dry, ready to reuse again. That's all you need to do for your stamper. For your stamping plate, I like to use acetone on my stamping plates. If you want to use nail polish remover, you can totally use that too. But I, I'm a fan of acetone. That's what I have. I don't have nail polish remover. <laughs> so I'm going to use that and a paper towel. I'm going to clean off all the stuff from that stamping plate. And now your stamping plate is good to go, ready to use. That's as simple as cleanup is. The card too. I'm just going to rub that wipey card on the acetone and everything is clean. Everything is ready to go. I'm going to show you how to do a partial image now. We're going to do it the exact same way. Nothing is going to be different. I'm going to get the chrome on the jelly stamper, get that all situated. I'm going to get the black polish on the image. I'm going to pick up the entire image, but I'm going to place it differently on the nail, kind of in like a diagonal, only half the nail is going to be covered. And easy peasy. That's literally all there is to it. And you can, you don't have to use a full image. If you want to use individual images, little teeny tinies, you can totally do that too. This works a hundred percent of the time. I have done this many, many, many times over the last hundred years. <laughs> and this is a great way to incorporate some chrome or different colored chrome. Give your stamps a little something, something. So as mentioned, I'm going to line that up where I want it on the nail roll it on. I am applying a decent amount of pressure and here you go. Now one thing that I do want to note is normally if you're stamping people like to use a sticky base coat. In this case no do not use a sticky base coat because if you do your chrome will stick to the entire nail. So zero sticky base coat for this. Don't use it. So I dusted off the excess chrome powder and now I'm going to go in with that smudge free top coat. This will just ensure that my images stay clean and don't smear. I'm floating this over very gently. I'm not dragging my brush across the nail. Zero pressure on the brush. Just float it on over and then let this dry for a, a bit. You want to make sure this is 100% dry before you touch them. I let them sit overnight, but if you don't have overnight, I mean, if you're doing these on your natural nails, just chill for like a half an hour and then you can um, be done. If you want this to be your final step, let this be your final step. If you want to do a second coat or like a glossier coat over top, you can totally do that. I'm going to add a little extra something after these dry. I'm going to go in with some striping tape stickers because I'm extra and I can't just do anything like a normal human. So after I finish applying the smudge free top coat, I'm going to let them dry and then I'll come back and I'll show you how to apply the striping tape stickers. Okay, so I got the nails completely dried. Again, I let them sit overnight just to be extra cautious. Here are the stickers I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna peel up a little piece of this. I could not for the life of me find my scissors, so I'm using nail clippers <laughs> and a tweezer. And all I'm gonna do, these are adhesive, so you don't have to worry about putting on anything extra. I'm just gonna lay it down where I want it across the nail and the sides rip off super easily. You don't need to cut them or anything. You just kind of put pressure against the side of the nail and they rip right off. Um, so that's all I'm going to do for that. Then you can go back in with your second coat of um, polished top coat. You can activate right over this and do your dip top coat if you want. I'm going to throw on a gel top coat. I think I might do a base coat first because gel top coat tends to peel. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and throw on a coat of gel base and then I'll do a coat of gel top. And then I'll show you the finished set. I'll say, uh, what? <laughs> I'll show you what they look like on the hand and then we're going to be done.
So here's the finished set. They are completely done. I could not be more obsessed. This is so not my typical style, but there's something about this that makes me just feel fancy. I feel fancy and bougie. <laughs> this is a perfect manicure for like the upcoming Easter season. I feel like they're church appropriate if that's your thing. Easter parties, um, Easter dinner. I don't know. It's giving me Easter vibes. Here's what it looks like on the hand, on my nails. They're just pretty and clean. And I feel like they're very classy with a little extra something. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling this. What do you guys think? Let me know down below if this is something you would try. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found it entertaining, helpful, useful, something. <laughs> If you did, make sure you give the video a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel. If you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. It's free. I hope the rest of your day is as beautiful as you are and I will catch you in the next one. Love you. Bye.